In Carnival 2014, roly poly became, well, a new phenomenon because, I mean, growing up as a child in Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean, I think Eastern Caribbean, we have heard the term roly poly to refer to fat people, fat, usually fat females, but um, including some fat males. Anyway, Mr. Killer, a Grenadian soccer artist, decided that he was going to have this roly poly be his feature song for 2014 Carnival, Trinidad Carnival in particular. And it emerged as popular in the early part of the season. People loved it. It played at fets, clubs, etc. And nothing was wrong. People enjoyed it. Great beat and so forth. Where it started to become offensive and where the gender dimension becomes relevant is that the roly-poly dance involved basically attacking, conquering, and mauling fat women. Now, he didn't use euphemisms in his song. He said, I want a roly, I want a roly poly, I want a fat gal. And he was very, very blatant in his appreciation for the roly poly through his lyrics. But at the same time, his actions, his dance, his stage performance and presence was all about, well, I'm strong enough to basically conquer through dance this roly poly. So what I decided to do after I saw for myself um, going to carnival events, what was happening in the earlier part of the season, that I would examine how this roly-poly phenomena was contributing to women's images of themselves, um, what it was, um, what it meant in the carnival space, as well as um, how people were interpreting the song and how it could lead to violence. To my surprise, when I went, I played mass and I went on the road, Roly Poly hardly played. And it seemed as if there was a public outcry when people saw what was happening in the early part of the carnival that made the song less um, poignant or powerful in the latter part. So Roly Poly, in, by my count, lasted about five or, um, or played about five times or two times on one of the days. What's the point of all of that background? The point is that while we in a society want to always promote recognizing legibility for all peoples, whether you're fat, tall, short, gay, straight, whatever it may be, to use language in such a way that appears to empower but at the same time disempowers is problematic. And Roly Poly did that. And that dual role that the song was playing played out perfectly in the stage performance, how he climbed on the roly-poly back and he had in Soka Monarch a roly-poly pyramid. And this term, while some people said Carnival 2014 is the year of the roly-poly, the year of the fat women, it really presented to us some, an interesting um, one can say paradox that women in general, and fat women in particular in this case, live every day. That on the one hand, the thing that makes you appealing empowers you. But on the other hand, the thing that makes you appealing subordinates and boxes you in into a place where you just become an object to be conquered. 